my channel welcome to today's video today's video is a very quick come shot with me what's new in john lewis and bnm you'll have seen that from the thumbnail but before i get into today's video i just wanted to take a moment to thank anna louisa for sponsoring part of today's video for you guys so as you know it's a christmas come shop with me and at this time of year when we're all trying to think of suitable presents there is no better place for you guys to go and look than annaluisa.com Anna Louisa make sustainable fashion jewellery. It is of the highest quality, it is carbon neutral, and it is gorgeous. You may remember a while back, they very kindly gifted me these earrings. So I have two safety pins in this side and a safety pin with a chain on this side. These are called Sia, and this is the Sia link. And they've now very kindly gifted me a couple more bits to show you guys. So I have this stunning ring. I don't have stunning fingers, sadly, to show it off. I wish I had supermodel hands. But this absolutely beautiful ring, I'm going to take it off to show you properly. It is a kind of a 5 8 circle. It's not really a semicircle, it's a 5 8 which means that you can widen it if you have either little chubby fingers like myself or a tendency to any kind of fluid retention means that this won't get too tight. Never any danger of having to have it cut off of my fingers, which is something that's always worried me with rings because I do experience fluid retention. The other thing they've gifted me is this gorgeous bracelet. Something else that I frequently struggle with is having big old builder's hands there. <laughs> this is a completely adjustable bracelet. It has a pull chain so that you can make it bigger or smaller to suit. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's a tiny little diamante in the middle of the bar. I don't know if you guys are getting that. I'm going to put up some pictures from the website because they've taken much better pictures than I ever could. I'm absolutely loving both of these pieces and loving everything that is available at annaluisa.com. Now is a fantastic time to go and have a look because they have their best ever sale on at the moment. I have a code that you can use as well. I'm not entirely sure whether my code stacks. If it does, win win all the way. So make sure you pop over, check out annaluisa.com. And now let's go and have a look and see what I found in John Lewis and B&M. Oh, oh, oh. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories
this year It's just gonna be you and me We spotted these lovely Christmas dog blankets and then there's a few toys underneath and then possibly in the wrong. This is the most disturbing dog toy I've ever seen. Okay, I'm back home and I thought I'd show you everything I bought in John Lewis and B&M today for Christmas. At least I think I'm going to show you all of it, but there might be a couple of things that are for people who might watch this video. So if so, I'm not going to show you those because that would spoil the surprise. So I didn't buy much in John Lewis because I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> but they did have some gorgeous things as you've seen. For mum for Christmas I picked up the florist round jigsaw. This is Trevor Mitchell for Gibsons and I know she's had these ones before and really liked them. So there's four 500 piece jigsaws in there which um, 500 is the size she prefers and she likes one with ones with lots of colours and lots of people. She doesn't like a lot of sky. Sky is too difficult. So that was £25 for that one which is about the same price as if I buy them on Amazon or online. So that was uh, 25 quid. And then for Tammy, I think I'm safe showing you this because I don't think Tammy watches my videos. Tammy's too busy to sit around watching YouTube. I got one of those gorgeous glasses that I know I showed you in the video. They are beautiful. It's gold inside and the gold shines through the little heart shaped, not hearts, star shaped um, cutouts, I suppose, is what I want, isn't it? 
really really pretty that was nine pounds and um i will give her i'll get her like a bottle of gin or something to go with it because otherwise a glass has a strange gift on its own isn't it and we managed to get that home without breaking it so yay for that the only other thing i bought in john lewis was this year's advent of change charity calendar so last year i had this and did it for vlogmas i intend to do the same this year last year i could only get the small one they do it in two sizes online and they'd sold out of the big ones and John Lewis had sold out of all of them. So I got the two prices, I suppose. They're actually, the, the calendar is the same size, but the two are two prices. So I got the one last year that was about £16. This one is the bigger donations and it's 32, 30, I think it was 32 95 So if you didn't watch me during Vlogmas last year, make sure you tune in this year. Every day you open one of the doors like any other advent calendar, but instead of a gift for yourself behind each door, it tells you which charity your donation has helped that day. 85% of the proceeds go to various charities and the charities that are in this one include things like the National Autistic Society, the PDSA, the Rainbow Trust Children's Charity. I'm not going to read them all out because that will spoil the advent, won't it, when I open one each day. But every day during Vlogmas we'll open one of these together and see which charity it's helped this year. So I think it was 32 95 this one. That's everything from John Lewis. B&M is a bit more my price point, really. So, <clears throat> Natalie was with me and chose this for part of her Christmas present. And she's done, she's just over there. You've done several of these diamond things, haven't you? Crystal, this yeah, one's Crystal. a lady gave me an Amazon voucher for my birthday. Yeah, one of you lovely people sent Natalie an Amazon voucher for her birthday. Burning. And you got, is it a diamond painting or a crystal? Are they the same, the same thing? thing? They're the same thing, apparently. She got a pack of four. Have you done, have you done them all? No, I've done one and a half. She's done one and a half so far, which is not bad because her birthday was only about six weeks ago. So this is a light-up crystal canvas, and it's um, it's called Wolf Family Song. So um, hopefully she'll be able to put that one on her wall when it's finished. That's pretty cool. This was... She's right here, so there's no point hiding the price. She, this was twelve ninety nine, but it was in the two for £20 sale. There's loads of stuff in there at the moment that's two for £20. Again, she knows what advent calendar she's got. That's not a surprise. She chose the Kindle one. And for Anthony, we got the Galaxy. Anthony likes chocolate. Oh, I just put my hand through the back of it. Luckily, it was back in the front. Nat picked up three of these because she's got the kids here this weekend. Every time I talk about the kids, people go, who are those children? They're not my grandchildren. Um, the girls, Freya and Lexi, are the daughters of Natalie's friend. And Natalie has basically been like an auntie to them their whole life. So that's who the girls are. And then the boy, James, is Natalie's ex-boyfriend's son. And he is best friends with little Lexi. And so that's why Natalie has them at weekends and so on and so forth. So that they can spend time together. Because he lives a few miles away, wouldn't see her otherwise. Um, so she's got, they've got three gingerbread houses for them to have a gingerbread house competition this weekend, I think is the plan. Have I got to do a prize? Yeah. Got to do a prize. I should have bought a prize. Didn't buy a prize. Go tomorrow, I've got to go back out tomorrow. I'll get a prize. I got two strands of this really pretty blue and purple tinsel. This was only a pound each. I thought that was really good. I mean, all right, it's only tinsel, but it's quite it's quite nice quality tinsel for a quid, you know. I'm thinking back to 1970s tinsel, which was kind of really thin and God, sad. <laughs> really thin and stringy. <laughs> I got one Christmas gift bag that's probably for Tammy's Christmas present. 89p. I'm not going to show you that item because that is for someone who may be rich. I got a box of Elizabeth, 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 a box of these for my mum for part of her Christmas. Elizabeth Shaw mint crisps. Milk chocolate ones. I don't like the dark chocolate ones. And so if I gave her the milk chocolate ones, when she shares, I'll be happy. This is a bit of a, oh, we need to try those. Natalie and I spotted these. They are twirl bites, but they are the caramel ones. They are not individually wrapped in there, which means after I have had a couple, I need to give the packet to Natalie and tell her to take them away. They are tiny. That's probably about 25 calories. It's 490 calories for 100 grams. The bag is... I have no idea what weight the bag is. The bag, the, the bag is 110 grams. So essentially it's about 500 calories for the whole bag. Luckily I'm not going to eat the whole bag, honestly. They're very nice. They've gone. She's taken them. 
there has been an intervention. That's very nice. A couple of stocking fillers. These were two for one fifty. This is another little thing for Mum's Christmas. She likes colourful things for her garden. She likes feeding the birds. It's a little, and she and, and another thing that she really likes is little seaside beach huts. So that kind of fitted all of the. It's a nesting box rather than a bird feeder. Maybe somebody will come and nest in her little house. It says, place at least two metres above ground to keep away from predators. Secure to a fence wall or tree between north and east to provide natural protection from direct sunlight, wind and rain. Make sure to have a clear flight path to the nest without any obstructions directly in front of the entrance. After the end of each nesting season, remove old material and clean to ensure it's ready for the new nesting season. So that's what the little door at the back's for, is so that after those baby birds are grown up and moved on, you can clean it out ready for the next lot. I think she'll like it, but whether anybody will come and nest in it, I do not know. Cake mix, always handy to have a cake mix in the cupboard for when the kids want to bake or anything like that. Or sometimes me, let's be honest. The last three things are not remotely Christmassy. Rain brew, rain brew, rain, what is the matter with my mouth? Rainbow Drops Fabulosa Laundry Cleanser. Now, I know, and you know, that laundry cleanser is a bit of a unnecessary thing isn't it because that's what your washing powder is there to do it's there to clean laundry but that makes your laundry smell really really nice so up to 20 washes add six capfuls into the fabric softener drawer of your washing machine for soaking add three caps to two and a half liters and leave to soak for 15 minutes it says it freshens your laundry and leaves it hygienically clean by killing 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. Elbow grease, because we get through a lot of this, is really good for cleaning trainers, isn't it, Nat? Mm, yes. Yeah, really good for cleaning trainers. And then Nat found this one. We were in Home Bargains the other day and they had... It was a Zephora. They had a Zephora in a mint something. Sugared peppermint. Sugared like peppermint, that. something like that. So Natalie saw, a, but I didn't buy it because they only had a massive one for four quid. Natalie saw this one, which is twisted peppermint, and it's a kitchen spray, and it's a fabulosa instead of a Zephora. Oh, it's very nice. I quite like. I quite like the idea of a minty kitchen. Mm. Oh, that smells like candy canes, peppermint candy canes, which is probably why it's called twisted peppermint. That's it. That's everything I got from John Lewis and B&M. And I hope, hopefully I've given you a nice little overview of the kind of new stuff that they've got in for the festive season. Thank you for joining me and I'll be back soon. Take there we go. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I've just popped back in at the end to remind you that the link for AnnaLuisa.com and the discount code is in the descriptions box below. Thank you once again to Anna Luisa for these beautiful pieces and I'll be back soon. Take care. Bye for now. <music>